Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Duke here, finally with a my GM as the Boston Celtics. This has been requested so much, it's ridiculous. I was so shocked by the amount of uh, love and support this series was wanted or needed. Or I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm just so excited, I can't even talk. Um, but anyways, you guys, with the Boston Celtics, our owner is Bernard Patton. Bernard Patton demands success from his team and doesn't afford a lot of wiggle room when it comes to failure. Public perception of the team is very important to him. He requires that you show respect to the fans and employees working within the organization at all times. Uh, so importance of money is three stars, but we still have a pretty good budget. Uh, importance of team success and team image are both five stars, so we got to keep everybody happy, basically. Uh, level of involvement is three, so we got our own. So we can kind of do what we want. Uh, importance of franchise morale is four, and level of patience is two, so we kind of got to win now. Um... It's kind of like the Knicks series, though. They want to win right now, so we got to do the same with the Celtics. Uh, if you look over at the budget, we got $120 million, uh, 75 in players, 53, sorry, player budget of 75, player payroll of 53, staff budget of 7, and team operations of 25. That is very generous. Uh, so let's, I'll not show you the roster yet. I'll show you guys once we get to the game, and we'll discuss what needs to be done. Hi, how are you, Duke? I hope you're ready to get things going as the newest GM of the Boston Celtics. And of course I am. Uh, let's go over the things that I need you to achieve this year. Uh, let's try for 23, to sell out at least 23 home games. Yeah, I can do that. That's no problem. Celtics, sorry, Boston loves their Celtics, so that will not be a problem at all. Uh, that's what you like to hear. Uh, we can't lose more than 26 games this year, period. Now, I was probably looking at about 26 wins this year. So that's going to be a little bit hard to accomplish, but I'm going to go with might accomplish that. No guarantees. Um, uh, now, what would you like to talk about wishes for you? Ensure that Marcus Smart plays at least 24 minutes. Um, Maybe. Probably not. Because uh, we have Isaiah Thomas as our starting point guards. Uh, Smart will probably be our 6th or 7th man. Uh, I'm also having the opportunity to set a budget each year. Oh, okay, yeah. So we've already went over that. That's nothing. Um, let's look at the staff. So, uh, uh, CFO looks good. Assistant GM looks good. I uh, love Brad Stevens as our coach. Assistant coach, not so much. He might have to go at the end of the year, maybe. Uh, head scout looks good. Trainer, ooh, that's not so good. We may have to replace the trainer right away. Because that's pretty poor, to be honest with you. Um, so, let's keep going here. Let's actually get right started now. Uh, so, I'm going to auto generate the rookies. Because last year, it was, I guess last GMO with the Knicks, we did custom for the first two years. And like every player out of the first round ended up being a 90 overall within three to four years. Uh, or actually probably two to three years to be honest with you. And that's kind of OP I think. I think I want to go with just the generic defaults. Uh, I tried out a couple ones. even had one guy tell me to use one on Twitter. I gave it a shot. And like in the first round, there was like Okafor went first overall. He was like a 74. And there was like three or four other guys who were 70s. And the rest were in the 60s. That seems like it's a little low. So, let's go with this, I think. I think just auto-generating is the way to go. Keep it legit. Keep it, uh, keep it fair. So, that, so uh, we can build the team the right way. We're not having 90 overalls on the bench like we did last year. Uh, so, let's take a look at the roster now. Uh, go by position. Point guard, we have Presti Smart and Thomas. Thomas can be our starter for now. Obviously, I want Smart to be our starter eventually. If it's two years, one now, I don't know. Uh, Presti will be a good bench guy for now. Uh, maybe move him later on, who knows. But then shooting guard, Bradley, will be perfect for that. Uh, small forward, we will go with, I guess, Crowder. I love Crowder. I really actually like him as a player, too. So he'll be a good small forward for now. Uh, power forward, Sullinger, he will probably be on the team for a while. I like him. And then at center, we have Zeller and Olenek. Um, I want Olenek to be my starting center, so probably trade Zeller right here. Oh, excuse me, I'm getting gassy. Um... <laughs> But yeah, let's go try and trade Zeller, I think. Uh, get him out of the way. Oh, and then also I noticed that Wallace has like a $10 million cap hit. So maybe we keep him this year and get rid of him in the offseason. Maybe we trade him now at the... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where things go. Uh, probably not a team that could even afford him in the first place. Uh, where is Zeller hiding at? There is Zeller. Okay, I'll find a trade. I'll see you guys in a second. So I found this trade with the Bulls. Uh, Sacramento's first this year, and Nazir Muhammad, who's 37, only one year on his contract. So it's really just a first for Zeller, really. Uh, you look at the stars, it's three stars for two and a half. So we're kind of winning it in that situation. 
Muhammad will be a good mentor to some of the younger guys on the team for sure, especially like Olenek. He can teach them a lot. He's been around the league for a while. So I will definitely take that. You cannot go wrong with that. That's a first-round pick, too. So in a team that we're somewhat rebuilding, you can't go wrong there. Uh, let's get a look at the rotation here and set it up. Okay. So we have Thomas, 31, Bradley, Crowder, Selinger, and Olenek. Perfect. We have some Bass. Um, we'll keep Bass for now. What's his contract looking like? Oh, that's smart. Never mind. Um, where would contract be? Right there. He's only got one year left. Okay, so maybe we try and trade him. I don't know if we'll try and re-sign him or not. We don't really need him with uh, Selinger and Olenek. So, let's take Bass down a bit to 24 or 20. Let's take you down to like 15. Um, let's swap you two around. Muhammad Wallace... Boom, Bab, and Young. Uh, let's put Datome here and put Young in. J James Young is the 19, yeah. We want to keep him. What was he drafted? First round, 17th overall. Okay, okay. Uh, that's not bad. I Yeah, no, that's good. So we have 18 minutes to give to our starters. Uh, we want them to have lots. Probably Selinger will have the most. And then give Olenek... Um, take one from... Yeah, that, that's good. That's good. That'll do. There's our minutes for everybody. In case y'all wondering, that'll do. Yeah, we don't have too crazy of a young bench. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. I like that. Uh, if things change, we'll do that as the year goes on. But let's get through the first month, I think, at least. At least the first month this episode. And then next episode, we'll get right into the season. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, as a first-time NBA general manager... What are you hoping to accomplish here with the Boston Celtics? Multiple championships, consistently improve at wait and see. Ah, let's constantly improve because that's kind of an ambitious, uh, ambitious goal right there. I just want to come. It's words. Oh my god, I'm not one to make big guarantees and the like. My goal here is simply consistently improve day in day out. If we achieve that, I'm sure everybody will be thrilled with the results. Uh, so reporting like that, owner did though. So owner, we're gonna have to impress anyways. Uh, cause I don't know if we're gonna win right away. Uh, they're gonna offer Steph Curry. For G Crowder, right? No, Smart Selinger for Green and Spades. Um, I'd probably take that if it wasn't Smart and it was somebody besides Spades. If it was like Green for Selinger, I probably would. Um, but no, I'm not gonna do that. That's not worth it, to us. especially giving up a young point guard and Smart for that. There's not enough of a return. Uh, so four and two, that's good. Bulls giving us a little ring, ring, ring. Gonna give us some D Rose action. Uh, Moronic Brooks for Jericho and Smart. Okay, that's not bad. again. If it was anybody but smart, I might probably take us. I really like Marotic. He's a great player. Um, but no, not giving up Marcus Smart. Not for a very low price, at least. Uh, you'll have to give up a lot for Smart. Uh, gonna be oh, uh, Scout always handles. Scout can do whatever he wants. They like that, too, so that keeps him happy. But yeah, I, I, I probably would be open to trading Smart, but it would have to be one hell of an offer, I think. We're not giving him away by any means at all. Uh, so five and four now in the year. Which every team are you currently the most pleased with? Uh, let's go starting lineup. Uh, that kept all them happy. Good. They're the ones who want to keep happy because they're the ones who give us the W, really. Uh, I didn't make anybody mad, so that's good. So they want 26 win. No more than 26 losses. Yeah, that's not happening. We'll probably be a 500 team, so we're going to have more than 26 losses. Next year, hopefully not 26 losses. But this, this year, most likely. I, I can't... That's just a crazy thing of the owner to ask to me. I, I don't know what he wants me to do. I can't work miracles. But I can... Uh, no, I'm not... Uh, ugh, I hate that so much. Change this, change that. Uh, uh, no. I will not change that. Um, but, yeah, 26. That's... that's oh, five straight losses. No! The players and staff, it's me... I'm going to take one for the team. It's me. Owner only went down by one, but made everybody, all the players happy, so that gives them a boost to get the W, but it doesn't. Uh, w there, though. There goes the winning streak. Lo oh, my God. The losing streak ends there. Uh, who wants to talk? Who wants to talk? After uh, the season, wants to speak about it personally. Oh, okay. Let's have a talk with Nazir Muhammad. He's calling it quits after this year. Hey Duke, I've had a great time playing for you in the Celtics, but I've decided it's time for me to retire. Asking for one more year, other assistants. 
offer assistant coach position. Um, let's just say thank him. Well, Azir, it's an honor having you play for this organization. I truly do wish you the best in your post-NBA life. Nah, man, thank you for the opportunity to play for the Celtics. I've had a great time here. So that's even a racist stereotype. But the nah, man, in, <laughs> in the 2K cheese. Okay. Uh, why'd the fan interest go down like that? What? All right, hey, whatever. He likes me, so that's I don't really care what the fans think of that. But that. Uh, I should take a look at player, quick look at player uh, contract extensions. So, oh, we can't resign anybody. Uh-oh. Jay Crowder is definitely what I want back. Let's take a quick look at stats after uh, the first month. Thomas put up 21 points a game. Okay. Bradley put up 15. Selinger with 14. Crowder with 10. And so with Linux with 10. Uh, Bass with 9. Jerkua, where's Smarts? Okay, Smarts down there with 7.5. Uh, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. Uh, so Thomas also put up 7 assists. Okay, where's the rebounds looking at? Selinger and Olenek doing okay. Want more of a Linux though, that's for sure. Would like more to Crowder also. Uh, anybody down here doing anything crazy? No, not really. Uh, let's go per 36 minutes. Jerko is doing the most per 36 minutes, so maybe we give him a couple more minutes. Uh, wow, that's actually really good. Hmm. Let's go fuck with the minutes right now then. Uh, coach game plan. Let's give Jerko more minutes. He seems to be doing the work with them. Uh, and let's give, let's give Muhammad a couple of minutes, I think. I think we can't go wrong there. Uh, but, and we want to go league leaders. Okay, so, ooh, Carmelo is leading the league in points. Uh, Harden, Durant, Lillard, Wade, Westbrook, Irving, George, Drogic. Huh, rebounds, Drummond, and assists, Powell. Chris Powell, how about that Chris Powell Game winner there in Game 7 against San Antonio. That was clutch, if I've ever seen it. Um, <laughs> just a quick little side bracket there. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, no, I'm not lowering it. Okay, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button if you guys did. I'll continue on in our first year next episode. I'm probably going to record the first three right now. So if you have any suggestions, still leave them. I'll take them in consideration. Uh, but if it doesn't happen next couple episodes, um, nothing I can really do. Because I want to get, I'm so excited. I just want to keep playing, keep playing. Uh, so six and eight in our first month, as expected. Uh, what you gonna do? But have an awesome day, guys. Peace out.